Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into how to read raw data into SAS. Now, if you haven't checked out my lesson five video, I'm going to post that link in the description. That's when we go over the first lesson of raw data in SAS. It tells you how to read in a text file, a .dat file, any other file that's not a SAS data set using the in file statement. It also goes over the input statement, which tells us our variable or column names. And then it also goes over how to type raw data using data lines directly into SAS. So if you want the beginning of how to read raw data in SAS, please go check out that lesson five. Today, we're going to go on to lesson 5.1, which is how you can use line pointers in SAS when your observation spans across multiple rows or you have multiple observations on the same row. And we're going to see examples of that. So the first thing that we want to talk about is line pointers, which is the slash. So on the code on the right hand side, you see after my input statement, which always takes in my variable names, so for example, city is going to refer to Athens in the first observation, state is going to refer to Georgia, and then the next two lines underneath Athens, Georgia, is going to have the normal low temperature and the normal high temperature on line two, and then it's going to have the record low temperature and the record high temperature on line three. So notice every time when I switch to a new line, I use this slash in front of it. So when we look at the normal low and normal high temperatures, we see each of these observations has that same information on the second line. So after I type in my state, I hit a slash to tell SAS to move to that second line within that observation. And then in order to get the record low and record high temperatures, I also do another slash to tell SAS to move to the third row of that observation. Then it's going to start all over and read the next observation, city and state, which in this case will be Richmond and Virginia. So if you, if you have an observation that spans across multiple rows, you can use this slash to just tell SAS to go to the next row, the next row, et cetera. Now, I just made a text file on my computer with three sample observations that you're free to make. And then you can upload that text file into SAS Studio so that you're able to read and practice along. If you don't know how to upload a file into SAS Studio, check out my first video. That gets you started with SAS Studio On Demand for Academics. Now, outside of line pointers, I can use a pound in as a second way to look at my observations. So as you can tell on the code on the right, I'm using a pound two to point SAS to the second line. And I'm using a pound three in my code to point it to the third line when I get to the third observation. And we're gonna run this code actually in SAS Studio so we can see the output. But instead of using line pointers, I can use this pound and then the line number where the data is located. Now, why would you wanna do it this way? Now say for instance, for some reason, you have some crazy data where you want to either, it's skipping lines um, for one observation. So observation one is on like line one and three. And in the middle, there's like some weird text that you don't wanna capture. Then you actually want to call the actual line number that that information is on. Or if you wanted to go backwards and say, for instance, I wanted to read in record low and record high temperature first, then I can tell SAS, hey, I want to read in the third line first, then I want to read in the second line. So it's more flexible when you use the pounds in the actual line number, because if you just use a slash, you're just gonna automatically go to the next line. You can't skip lines, you can't go backwards, et cetera. But with the pounds and the actual line number, you're able to do that. 
So outside of line pointers, what if I have multiple observations on the same line? How do I tell SAS to stay on that line? So for instance, observation one, observation two, and part of observation three is on the same line in my text file. So notice that my input statement looks a little bit different here. I have the city, state, normal low, normal high, record low, record high, and then I do this double at that says, hey, stay on that same line because the next observation is going to be coming up, okay? So anytime when you have observations on the same line, you utilize this trailing at symbol in order to stay on that line. So very different than line pointers. All right, so now let's hop into SAS Studio and actually see this. So I have all of that code here. Now, in order to make these sample text files, what I've done, and you can do this in Microsoft Windows as well, I've made two just sample text files, either in Notepad++, or in this case, I'm just using the text editor since I'm on a Mac, and I just randomly wrote out three cities, three, um, two, normal low, normal high temperatures, and then their record high, record low temperatures. And I stacked it on top of each other in order to show how to use line pointers. And then I also typed it on the same line in order to show how to use the trailing app. And then I saved this as a text file. So if you're on a Mac, make sure that when you hit format, you hit make rich text. So it can actually save as a .txt file versus a RFT file, which is like rich text format. Okay, so once you make your sample data files and you save that in your documents, you can then upload it. So you're gonna want to hit the folder files home on the left-hand side of SAS On Demand for Academics, and you're gonna wanna hit upload. And then you wanna choose those two files, which would be here, that I have that you want to upload into SAS and it will upload both of these files for you, okay? I've already uploaded those files. Like I've mentioned, if you want more guidance on how to upload files, you can check out my earlier video on how to upload files into SAS. But when I go on my left-hand side and I scroll down, I see that I have both of these. So the first example is using the sample city temp. So that is the text file that we created that's stacked on top of each other. So when I right click this and I hit properties, this is the directory that goes in your end file statement. Keep in mind that since you're using SAS Studio on demand for academics, it's no need to point to the directory where it's saved on your computer. Instead, you can always right click that file and look at the properties and import that directory. Okay, so we have the end file statement. And then once again, when I open this up, I see that I have three observations that span across three lines. So I utilize my line pointer and I say, hey, city and state is on the first line. Please go to the second line and then look for my normal low and normal high temperatures, and then go to the third line and look for my record low and record high temperatures. I put a length statement here on the city because Baltimore is very long. So if you don't want the words Baltimore cut off, it's good to add a length statement. All right, so when we highlight this and we run, we see that our city state normal low, normal high, record low and record high temperatures are now transformed into a SAS data set and it is saved in my work library. So if you want more information about the work library, please check out my video that goes over libraries in SAS. Okay, now we also learned a second way that outside of doing this slash here, we can actually call out the number of the line. So in this case, I have the same text file in my end file statement. And now I'm saying city and state is on the first line. Line two has the normal low and normal high temperatures. And line three has the record low and record high temperatures. So it should give us the same output as that first program. 
And I see that it does. It gave us the same output, three observations, six columns. Now, I also read in the text file where I had, let's look at the same rows text, all of the observations on a single row with a little bit of Baltimore expanding to the next row. So this is where we actually want to use our trailing at symbol for this. So now I say, and let's scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to hit enter so this can come up, that I have the new text file that I'm reading in, because remember we read in two different text files, and now I'm just putting everything on one line and saying after you read the record high temperature, stay on that line. I'm holding the line with the trailing at and read my next observation in the six data points there. Then stay on that same line and read the final observation. So I'm going to run this and look at the output. And as we can see, it generated the same output as the other two data steps that we done. So this is how to read in raw data when your observations span across multiple lines, or in our last example, if your observations, if more than one observation is on the same line. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that line pointers and trailing at symbols make more sense to you. Please, 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 if you need more context on raw data, remember to check out lesson five. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly.